Oh, hi. Today we've gone ahead and dived into the future of production, the unbelievable world of air-powered manufacturing. Yes, you heard that right. Today, much of the technology has progressed to a point that some production processes, even today, use only air to make or create the necessary materials, fuels, fibers, and even food. If these groundbreaking methods help automate the production and use of new materials, they could change the game in sustainability and bring us closer to a future of resource-efficient manufacturing. So if you're ready to check out science and technology that will blow you away, let's dive right in. Air protein making meat from air. Let's start with something that might sound like science fiction, but is very real air protein. There's a company changing the way we produce protein. Air protein, they use a special kind of fermentation to capture carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen from the air with water and minerals. Then special microbes convert these gases into amino acids that can be turned into protein rich substances and become meat alternatives. And it has almost no greenhouse gas emissions. And none of the land or water it uses is needed for traditional meat production. The potential is exciting because it provides a sustainable way to provide food for an ever-growing world population without depleting natural resources. Carbon negative concrete production. Efforts to reduce these emissions have become one of the biggest challenges in the construction sector. A new technique is bringing it to the point where carbon negative concrete can now be produced with air. Companies such as Carbon Cure have created technology to inject CO2 into the mixture of the concrete and lock it in forever to the concrete structure. Not only does this keep CO2 out of the atmosphere, but the process also strengthens and hardens the concrete. This is a revolutionary approach, which turns waste product from other industries into something valuable and environment friendly. Renewable fuels from air with direct air capture. Fuel from thin air, that's right. Companies can take CO2 out of the air using a process called direct air capture or DAC and convert it into usable fuel. Captured carbon dioxide is then chemically processed to make carbon neutral fuels like synthetic gasoline and jet fuel. And this is still developing technology, but it has incredible potential for sectors like aviation where electric power just hasn't been possible. While they don't remove CO2 from the atmosphere, companies including Climeworks and Carbon Engineering are developing ways for companies to produce fuels without adding any CO2. Carbon fiber production from air. Lightweighted, strong material carbon fiber is used in aerospace, automotive, and sports industries. That is, historically, to make carbon fiber, you needed petroleum-based raw materials, but some startups now take the carbon out of the air. The carbon captured by them can be extracted by processes and converted back into fiber. Making carbon fiber with air is less environmentally intrusive, and carbon dioxide is so abundant we will never run out of it. The result could eventually make carbon fiber production more sustainable and less reliant on fossil fuels. Industrial chemicals from carbon dioxide. Another process of interest is the industrial chemicals from CO2 captured air. Now available directly from carbon dioxide rather than petroleum are chemicals like methanol, formic acid, and acetic acid, which are integral to plastics, pharmaceuticals, and even electronics. Yet this method would not only be sustainable, but if used widely, might outperform chemical production by reducing costs and increasing safety. And companies like 12 are leading the way in this technology, developing a production method utilizing chemicals instead of oil with significantly less of a negative impact for our planet. Mineral carbonation to make building materials. Using naturally occurring minerals, mineral carbonation captures CO2 from the air and combines it to create synthetic limestone for use in construction. Among other things, this process both traps carbon and builds building materials that can replace traditional CO2 intensive ones, such as cement. Particularly for the cities that want to build in a more environmentally friendly way, this technology looks promising. Literally making materials from air, mineral carbonation is creating opportunities to sustainably build and is helping alleviate the resource intensive cement desire. Artificial photosynthesis for bioplastics. Nature's way of converting sunlight, water, and CO2 into energy and oxygen is photosynthesis. They are now drawing inspiration from this process to develop artificial photosynthesis systems that make bioplastics from the air. Through these systems, CO2 is reacted with sunlight and water to convert into carbon-based compounds to make bioplastics. They are biodegradable and can replace petroleum-based plastic in many packaging and medical devices. Plastic production could become more sustainable and pack less plastic pollution at the same time through artificial photosynthesis. Air-powered production processes are changing the way we think about resource usage from protein to plastic. And these innovations demonstrate that we can make critical materials without a large environmental footprint while turning carbon from a pollutant into a commodity. Of those air-based processes, which surprised you the most? 